Situated on the River Cheval, Banbury is a beautiful historic market town in Oxfordshire, England. It's a significant commercial and retail center for the surrounding area of North Oxfordshire, South Warwickshire and Northamptonshire. The name Banbury derives from Banna, a Saxon chieftain who said to have built a stockade there in the 16th century. situated on the high street is a municipal facility and also a grade 2 listed building. It was built by Chesterman Brothers of Abingdon in 1854 and was designed in the Gothic Revival style by Edward George Bruton. The clock tower and the spire were added in 1860. largest coffee processing facility and is also famed for Banbury cakes. In the year 1913 AD, a band of Danes who had settled in Northampton travelled along Banbury Lane and ravaged North Oxfordshire. The Danes were known to be great traders who established market towns. The outcome of their attacks is likely to have benefited Banbury by aiding the development of the town centre. nursery rhyme connected to Banbury. It was first published in 1784 and had been sung for hundreds of years, always with the same opening line. A cock horse is a phrase that comes from around 15th century. It can mean a high-spirited or an uncastrated or simply a hobby horse. Nobody quite knows who the fine lady is, though speculation has pointed towards Queen Elizabeth I, Lady Godiva and Celia Fiennes, 
who was the sister of William Fiennes, third Viscount Saint Sele of Broughton Castle. <music> Banbury has a lovely emblem of the sun as an icon of the town. Sunshine has connotations of happiness, light and positivity. The sun is featured on Banbury's coat of arms as well. It proudly sits above the motto Dominus Nobis Sol et Scutum, which translates to The Lord is our sun and shield. The town's coat of arms also features Banbury Castle, cross swords in reference to the Civil War, and the lady on the white horse in reference to the well-known nursery rhyme. From 1537, the old wine house is one of the oldest houses in Banbury. building was remodeled in 1910. Now no longer a power hotel the White Lion was one of Banbury's earliest inns, with the first innkeeper being recorded in 1554.
Shakespeare Inn is a traditional old English pub which first became an inn in 1570. It still features original wood paneling dating from the English Civil War. This is where Oliver Cromwell's men met to plan the Battle of Edge Hill and the Siege of Banbury Castle. Banbury Castle, which is now destroyed, was the medieval castle that once stood near the center of the town. Church is a grade 1 listed building which was built in the 1790s to replace the medieval one damaged during the English Civil War. This is also where the story of Gulliver's travels began. was passing through the St Mary's church when he came across the gravestone of the Oliver family and then he started to write the book
cross stands on or near the site of the original cross which was destroyed in 1602 AD in a time of religious intolerance. This was erected in 1859 to celebrate the marriage of then Princess Royal to Prince of Frederick of Prussia. Just in front of the Banbury Cross is this beautiful statue of the fine lady on the white horse. Situated at about 2.5 miles from the centre of Banbury, Broughton Castle is a medieval fortified manor house.
Church of St. Mary the Virgin was built almost entirely in the early 14th century at the time when Sir John de Broughton was building the adjacent castle. Broughton Castle was built as a manor house by Sir John de Broughton in 1300 at a location where the confluence of three streams created a natural site for a moated manor. It is the home of the 21st Lord Lady Say and Sele, whose family name is Fines. The ownership of the castle has remained in the same family since 1447. A Grade One listed building, the castle sits on an artificial island in a pasture land and is surrounded by a wide moat. The core of the house was built in 1306 and the gatehouse in the early 15th century but most of what you see today dates from the 1550s the center of opposition of Charles I and was besieged and damaged after the battle of Aigle in Parkland and built of the rich local Honton Island stone, the castle was selected by Simon Jenkins as one of the only 20 to be awarded five stars in his book *England's Thousand Best Houses*. <laughs>